Hey everyone, I'm Brian Smith with IDJ Now, and today I'm going to give you an overview of one of my favorite products, SoundSwitch. But first, please be sure to like this video and to subscribe to get more great content from the IDJ Now team. So, what is SoundSwitch? It's kind of like Serato for your lights. It works best with Serato, Virtual DJ, and the Denon Prime system, but it also has things like Ableton Link functionality and can work as a standalone software. It is a DMX-based software, but works more like a multi-track audio program than lighting software. So if you're used to working in the Ableton environment or Pro Tools or even Audacity, you're going to be pretty familiar with the interface and the layout. One of the biggest myths about SoundSwitch is that you have to program every song. And it's just wrong. Sorry, that's wrong. You don't have to. There's a way to do SoundSwitch without having to program every song. And I'm going to explain that to you guys in just a minute. So what do I love about SoundSwitch so much? It's a step up from that sound to light. You know, when I started doing events and weddings and stuff like that, I was using sound active mode on my lights and nah, man, it just, it's just no good. It doesn't look good. You know it doesn't look good. I know it doesn't look good. I don't know why people still can insist on using it. There's so much out there like SoundSwitch to help you get out of that rut. So for me, I have a background in music and sound and not lighting. What SoundSwitch did for me was it enabled me to produce professional shows without a lighting designer or a ton of extra hardware or anything like that. On top of all this, the SoundSwitch team is absolutely amazing. They listen to user feedback. I was an early adopter. I've made suggestions. I've had friends that have made suggestions for things to show up in the software. And they've shown up. Over time, they've just keep on updating the software, making it better and better and better, and based off of what users say they want to see out of it. I mean, you can't beat that. That, that is an attentive team. That's great. That's how you get a great product. So let's break down the basics of SoundSwitch. SoundSwitch has five venues that you can add your lights into. This is kind of like your workspace. So you can have five different setups. I usually recommend having one setup that has all your lights in it so it's really plug and play. And then you can use the other venues to do you know, some more unique things or different setups if you want. So just like any other DMX software, you'll need to select the brand fixture and model of your light and set DMX channels. SoundSwitch will set your DMX channels for you though. So don't worry about that. It'll tell you what you need to do and then you just have to go and you know, program it in on your light. If you're using moving heads, SoundSwitch has an XY editor. So like for me, I show up to a venue, I set up my lights, I open up sound switch into edit mode, set the positions for all my moving heads. So I use like five, so I'll use like booth, dance floor center, uh, dance floor corner, stuff like that. Set them all up, switch over to performance mode, and then I'm good to go for the night. The basic program for sound switch is done on what we call the master track. So it runs right across the bottom of the screen. And here, if you program a master track and do nothing else, all your lights are going to go and follow that master track. You'll be good to go. So how do the lights follow? Well, it follows because of the beat grid information that you input in your software. So if you're not beat gridding your, your tracks, eh, sound switch not going to work so great for you. And I don't know why you wouldn't have good beat grids on your tracks in this day and age. I don't know why. Why wouldn't you do it? That's great. So beat grid your tracks, sound switch will read it, and that works. So you scratch the lights follow. Do a spin back, the lights are going to go in reverse. It's super, super cool. If you don't want to use just the master track, you can, or the master track is too basic for you, above that you have your fixture tracks. So in the fixture tracks, this is where you can get crazy. You can do chases, you can change your colors. If you have like pixel mappable fixtures, kind of like what I use, like you can do chases right on one fixture and it looks awesome. So you can do all kinds of different stuff, change your colors, make it different from the master track and build yourself a truly dynamic light show. I said that you didn't have to program every song. So this is how that works. There's two things you can do, all right? If you want to be a little bit more advanced and I'm gonna to get to you like basic people real soon, but if you want to be a little bit more advanced but not get too into it, automate. You can literally automate an entire playlist or crate and sound switch. Screen pops up, you select your colors, you select the positions you want, you press go, 30 seconds later, sound switch spits out a light show for you. Done. You hadn't had to do that much work. You can do this individually for a track or for a whole crate playlist, but enough of that. 
I just want to plug in sound switch and have it work and have it just be a little bit different than sound to light. And I just don't want to deal with all that. Cool. Sound switch has auto loops and it's preloaded, pre-programmed 32 of them. So if you load up a track, like say you didn't program a single track, you went out and DJ with sound switch and just turned it on and linked it with your DJ software, you're going to have a light show because those 32 auto loops are going to sync with the beat grids in your tracks to create your, your, your light show. So you don't want to program anything. That's cool. Or you have like some of your pro songs programmed, but not the rest. That's cool too. Anything that you load up that doesn't have a sound switch file associated with it, it's going to load up those auto loops and you're good to go. So let's jump in and take a real quick look at the software. All right. So just in case you need to see how this works, USB, plug it in, your DMX, here's the other end, boom, our sound switch is plugged in and we are ready to go. All right, so here we are in sound switch. I'm going to add a new venue and we're going to call it IDJ now. Let's select that venue. We're going to go to DMX here and I already have this loaded up so it's a Chauvet color band picks and I'm going to drop it on channel 117 there but you can drop it at one and then select it to program your your addresses for you but I have this one already addressed all right let's go load a track that we don't have no nope, I'm not going to change that all right I'm going to go and automate auto script so bass intensity is like the lowest intensity your lights will get. Pulse intensity is the maximum and bridge is for like your breakdowns. You can do a custom color theme, but I'm going to roll with this. I've already moved my positions in here and now we're just going to click start. Okay. So now we have a generated light show. So I already know there's a couple of things I'm going to want to change in this. So we're going to zoom in right about here and work on this section here. And then we'll be able to show you exactly what that looks like. So we have very obviously have a breakdown here. I'm gonna add in a couple of anchor points because I want this to come all the way down. We'll bring it up and then slide this over a little bit just to have a little bit of a drop right before we hit the main part. And then who doesn't love some strobe? So we're gonna highlight this, add in a strobe. So before we go any further, this is your main intensity on your master track. This is your colors. This is your strobe track. And this is your movement position right in here. And just because I like chases, let's add in a chase right in the middle here. I'm going to go over here. So this is where you can add in your effects. They're already built in and do an alternating chase. We'll drag this in, select group. Let's select three lights. We're going to do inline forward and let's do one sixteenth. All right, there we go. Let's take a look to see what this looks like. And that is kind of what sound switch looks like. So imagine you can do chases like that with up lights around a room. You know, this is just one fixture. You can do all kinds of chases and really bring a dynamic light show to your performance. So what do you need to get started with sound switch? This USB on one end, DMX on the other. This is the sound switch interface. You may have remembered there used to be a box. There is no box anymore. This is it, and it's super affordable. It's so easy to get into SoundSwitch now, okay? When you get this, you get a three-month free subscription. Download the software, try it out, see if it's for you. At the end of that, I'm sure you're going to find that it's for you because SoundSwitch is awesome. Then you have a decision to make. So your decision is to subscribe monthly, yearly, or buy a lifetime license. I buy the lifetime license, but it's up to you. Whatever works best for your budget, that's cool. Say you don't want to go and spend the nominal fee to get this and get started on SoundSwitch, that's cool. You want to see what the software looks like, 
that's cool. Head to soundswitch.com. You can download the software and check it out. Once you've checked out the software and say, oh my God, this is amazing. That Brian guy was right. Then head over to igjnow.com. They'll help you out. They'll get you one, get you one of these. Okay. I hope you liked this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did like it, please remember to like and also subscribe to the IDJ Now channel to get all the great content that they put out in product videos. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.